hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, this has been a request of my sister-in-law who I may not get along with but knows me the best outside my mom and my daughter. She knows me the best. And one of the things that she suggested was that I do a video blog about ranting. Because apparently, according to her, I'm very good at it. Because I have a lot to say. And a lot of people would agree with me. And if you don't, that's okay. You're entitled to your opinion. It doesn't matter to me. I don't care. But if you are rude to somebody or you troll somebody, I have no problem ripping into you and then deleting your thread 24 hours later. Because I'll let you at least read it. I'm that mean. Anyway, she suggested that I do a vlog about ranting. So, I'm going to rant today. My rant is about discrimination. Forgive me, I'm a smoker, get over it. My rant is about discrimination. And please do not take this the wrong way. I have nothing against any racist. Um, my godmother, the godmother of my daughter is African American and if I were a lesbian and so were she, we would so be a couple. But she's straight, I'm straight, so you know. Um so I do love other races. So please don't take this as a dig or diss or anything against you because it's not. It's about the reality of how things go. My mother and I are struggling. I'm extremely poor. So is my mom. And so is my daughter. We cannot afford to buy her presents. For Christmas, if it wasn't for her church and the people at her church, my daughter wouldn't have celebrated Christmas because we couldn't get her anything. And her birthday is rolling around. Currently, it's February 12th. Her birthday is March 5th. And I have no idea what I'm going to do for her birthday. I'm like at a loss because... I can't get her anything. No toys, nothing. And she doesn't have a problem with it. She's a very good kid. She understands that we don't have the money. And she's more than happy to just get ice cream or Doritos. And yes, I spoil my child with fat and foods. But that's okay. She's a kid. So, you don't like it? Get over yourself. Um, those are the things that make her happy more than anything. And when she does receive a gift, depending on what it is, she will play with it for a while. But then she'll think about her friends. She's homeschooled by her best friend's mom. But she goes to church and everything. And she thinks about the people that she's with especially the kids and she knows how much they like certain things although we don't have anything to give her or to give away somehow my daughter manages to give these things to people and I'm so proud of her anyway Back to my discrimination issue. Like I said, my mom and I are poor. We've tried every agency you can think of to receive help. Um, agencies that help with bills, 
agencies that help with housing, everything. And they tell us one of, one of two things, maybe three, depending on the agency. But the major things that they tell her is, oh, I'm sorry, but you're outside the allotted time to make the request, which is the number one thing. The other thing is, oh, I'm sorry, we don't have the funds needed to help you in your situation. I get food stamps. I get medical coverage. So does my mom. And I have a cell phone. I do have a cell phone. My cell phone. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. It comes from the government. It's prepaid. I don't pay a dime on my, on my cell phone. And. It bothers me quite a lot because I will go into these places to reapply for food stamps and stuff so I can get food for my kid and to help my mom. And I go in and I have to get a ride to go there. And it's generally by my sister-in-law. And I go in and I see these people and they're, they are not people that work there. They're just people that go there to get the assistance. I see these people with brand new cars. I'm like, cars that cost more than my house. Not only that, but they've got things like iPhones. And I'm not talking the new age, the new age iPhone. I'm talking the most expensive two, three hundred dollar iPhones. Whereas I'm struggling with a prepaid government phone. No car and issues paying my bills. And yet they get more help than I do. They get housing assistance. They get Additional food stamps. They may have the same amount of children I do, which is one. But they still get more. And I don't. And it has nothing. Well, it kind of does. And those of you that do know, and please don't think I'm racist. But those of you that are white and do understand, when you are white and you are seeking out assistance, you don't get the same amount of benefits and assistance that the African Americans do. Like I said, don't take offense. I love African Americans. My godmother from my daughter is African American. You guys are awesome. So please, please do not think I'm being racist because I'm not. I'm just stating a fact as I know it, considering the way that the system is, and it hurts. I'm okay. I'm a little depressed, but I'm okay. But I worry. I worry about the future for people. I worry about my mom, who is legally blind, has kidney failure and is currently going to rehabilitation to relearn to walk. She's also got a brain disorder where she's slurring her words and she means the world to me. So I'm worried about her. Outside of worrying about her, I'm worrying, worried about my daughter. I know what it's like because when I was a kid, I was very poor. I had to wear hand-me-downs hand or the same clothes over and over and over again. And she's pretty much the same. Her current pair of shoes that she wears regularly, we got at a thrift store for a dollar. I don't diss thrift stores. I actually love them because they're like totally 100% awesome.
You can get all sorts of kinds of stuff from them. But they're a dollar. One dollar. I can't even get shoes for myself. But I need shoes for her. And her shoes cost one dollar. And I look at these kids that go to these facilities for assistance and they got shoes like a hundred, two hundred dollars. And I'm sitting here thinking, how in the hell is this possible? Now people always say, and I do hear this a lot, why don't you get her dad for child support? I'm a single mom. Why don't you get her dad for child support? He should be helping. I have been trying since the day she was born. Unfortunately, he is one of those deadbeat dads. Which I'd like to beat dead, but, you know, that's well, not the story in itself. <laughs> but... Per the advice of my sister-in-law, I thought I would rant about discrimination. And to me, this is a form of discrimination. Um, I will probably do another video blog about discrimination, which comes in a different aspect outside of, you know, these current issues. This, I thought, was the first and foremost that needed to be gotten across. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. Um, one day, when my daughter is awake, because it's like currently like 2 a.m. in the morning, when my daughter is awake, I will have you guys meet her. You can see videos of her in, in, in my channel. She was very young, but she is like so and this is not a gushing mom, you know, being like, oh, my child's great. No, my daughter is cute. End of story. You cannot, you cannot deny that. Everybody I know, even people with kids that I know are like, oh, my God, I love your daughter. I will trade you. So take a look at her videos. Make some comments in mind about things you you want me to rant about or in my other video um, about things that you want me to answer. I am more than willing and more than happy to do these things. So please don't hesitate. And if you're worried about somebody saying something mean to you, I, me, me, I got your back. Somebody says something mean, I will rip them to shreds. I do not like bullies, which I'll go into another rant about, but I'll make this quick. I do not like bullies, and I do not like trolls, and I have no problem with putting them in their place. So, give me a line, let me know what you think. Um, hate me, love me, whatever. I'm happy either way. Um, and my homage to Gravy Graveyard Girl, aka Bunny, as well as Made You, Y E U, look. Let's buy. They are my two utmost favorite YouTubers. They're the inspiration for the videos that I do now. Although mine are a little bit different, but they are my inspirations for starting this. So, thank you for listening. You guys have a wonderful day. And peace out. Peace out. I'm working on the end, so we'll figure that out over time. Bye.